Hello, friends. Once again today, we're doing a Money Talk lesson in our series, The DNA of the Seed, and this is the last one. This is number 31. You know, some months have 30 days, some have 31 days, so this series has 31 full episodes. If you wanted to listen to one of these teachings every day, repetitively, one a day for the next 30 days, and then maybe repeat that over the next two or three months, you would have a good understanding of all the teaching that I'm presenting to you about the fact that the harvest you receive back from your seed is always of the same DNA as the seed that you sow. So here's the last one, and I think it's very uh, significant. Adaptation is the seed for longevity. Now, last time we talked about presentation is the seed for acceptance, and, and that's great. So this is kind of an extension of that. Once you're in the room, you want to stay there. Once you're on the team, you want to remain in a position of influence. Once you've been accepted, on occasion, you may need to make some adjustments so that you ensure long standing in that position of influence. Time is very precious in these five minute messages, so I have to be very articulate. Nothing will be more valuable to me to share this with you than the Word of God, which says this. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32 of Issachar the men who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. The sons of Issachar, they understood the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Now, understanding the times means more than just being able to identify the problems of our times. We know there's a lot of problems in our world today. And we know there's a lot of people that fume and fuss about the conditions of our world. And unfortunately, a lot of people are still a part of the problem rather than being a part of the solution. Just because you can make a lot of noise about how bad things are doesn't mean that you have influence in that environment to make a difference. And as far as I'm concerned, kingdom ambassadors should be a part of the solution rather than the part of the problem. So understanding the times has more to it than just understanding there's problems and somebody needs to do something. I think there's three things that fit together in you being able to adapt and, and that's adjust, that's make modifications so that you retain influence and that you're always considered to be a person that has understanding of the times, knowing what the people of God ought to do. First of all, You've got to have, number one, a solid foundation. Wherever there are problems in the environment where God has placed you, you have to have enough strength and enough solidity to discern that things are really not the way they ought to be. Some things are just not right. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of people that just don't have that foundation. They have no moral compass. There are people that do not realize that our culture today is in deep trouble. So you have a solid foundation you understand the times. Then secondly, you have to have fresh revelation. What is the answer that God has in your heart for the current crisis? Are you just going to complain about it? You know, or are you going to offer a solution? And the solution requires fresh revelation from God. You know, I don't think God has been the least bit surprised over all the strange and sinful things that have come up in our modern culture in, in recent years. He saw it from the very beginning, and from the beginning of time, He has always had a solution. And if you'll seek Him, He'll give you fresh revelation, understanding the times and what to do about them. But then thirdly, and this is always essential in the life of a leader, you must have courage. You may understand the times, you may have the revelation of what ought to be done, but without courage, without that adaptation, you will never be able to make a difference. There will be people that push back. There will be opposition. There will be resistance. But courage, even though you will have fear, and even though you will sense fear around you, courage is the willingness to press past the fear into the reward of knowing that God has, has used you. So, Again, this is our last lesson on the DNA of the seed. I hope that you remember a lot of these and are applying them into your life. Here's the last one. Adaptation. If you want a long-standing influence in a position of opportunity that God has given you, adapt, grow, be willing to adjust and modify, and always have the courage to do the right thing no matter how difficult it might be.